How expensive is it to keep chickens? This really is a loaded question that depends on many factors. I've had a cheap-ish flock of six and now have a fancy flock of 50, and in this video I'll be breaking down the budget differences between the two. To start, we'll take a look at the lower end of the budget of things with my original flock of six. First things first, you've got to locate some chickens. My first flock of six were a wedding gift, so they were zero dollars, but that's not really a fair estimate for most, and since I'm going to assume you'll be buying your chicks, I'll be using farm store prices and picking a mid-tier price for the sake of this estimate. If you were to select six hatchery quality chicks from your local farm store at around $4.50 apiece, your price for chicks starts out at $30. With your chicks, you'll also need a heat source, wood chips or other bedding, a brooder, feeder, waterer, and chick starter. All of these items in their most basic forms will run you around $88 depending on brand and location. The big ticket item when it comes to chicken startup is the coop and run. Building your own is always my preference because you can get more bang for your buck. You can purchase a prefab coop, but they're not well built or long lasting for the price. Decent ones start at around $400. If you're building your own coop, finding reclaimed materials is a great way to go. My first coop was made entirely out of leftover materials and has worked wonderfully for three years. If you can source some free pallets to use for the framing, then all you really need to buy is a few sheets of plywood, some tin for the roof, paint, hardware, and 2x4s for your roosts. For a 5x5 coop, you're looking at around $320, give or take, depending on location and your DIY ability. When you build your own, you can build it to last and make it to fit your needs. Theoretically, you could skip building a run and free range full time for $0. However, I absolutely recommend building a predator proof run and not cutting any corners when it comes to predator proofing. Having a secure run will make your life so much easier in the event of a weekend trip, predator trouble, pet sitters, or even just wanting to go out to dinner without having to rush back home to lock up your flock. You could order a cheap metal run and recover it with hardware cloth for around $210, but they're not very sturdy and just like the prefab coops, they aren't built to last. A flock of six needs a minimum of 60 square feet of outdoor space, so for the sake of this estimate, we'll do an 8x8, 6 foot tall run to eliminate extra cutting. You definitely want to spring for half inch 19 gauge hardware cloth and fender washers to attach the wire. It's a bit pricier up front, but will save you in the long run. A wood run with half inch hardware cloth and a dig skirt will cost around $450 at this size. Another surprise cost with chickens is vet care or first aid kit. If you're looking to go as cheap as possible, culling and replacing sick or injured birds is a zero dollar option, but I much prefer to treat what I can by having a first aid kit on hand. At its most basic, a first aid kit with the most commonly needed items will run you around $70. Now that you've got your chicks purchased, their coop and run built, and they're all settled into their home, you'll have a few reoccurring costs like their bedding and feed. Six chickens will need around one bag of feed each month, meaning you'll spend around $884 per year if you don't buy them any treats and just supplement with free ranging and food scraps and eliminate feed waste. So there you have it. For the low end startup for a flock of six chickens in their first year will run you around $1,842. I'm sure you can make adjustments to make that first year a little cheaper, but you definitely don't want to cut corners when it comes to their safety. 